Hey everybody, Stacy here. I'm on a roll. This is my seventh video of the day. Uh, kind of, uh oh, I can't get that door shut right now. Maybe nobody will come home and bug me. Um, I'm doing a couple. There was a guy that called me and wanted to come look at my work. And I normally don't have people come to my house, but since I'm not going to the farmer's market right now, I'll probably just make my husband be here and do that. Um, I don't, I think it'll be fine. Um, anyway, I'm, uh, making a couple, um, with colors that I asked him to tell me, um, just to, you know, I want to have something that he likes. So, um, surely there will be as much stuff as I've got, God. Um, but anyway, I can't decide which color to swap this with. I think I'm gonna go with blue, Prussian blue. Um, so that means right under it, I'm gonna do the, this is um, my favorite of the dark greens. Um, well, I like this and I like Deco Art Emerald Green, um, but this is Liquitex um, Thalo Green, and um, it's my, uh, I like it a lot too. Um, I don't put my swap color on to last because my table is slanted and it'll run off the table. Um, let's see. Let's see what next, what next, how about purple? Um, I had an experiment earlier today, uh, sort of an inadvertent experiment. Um, I poured some paint out for a, uh, flip cup yesterday. And, um, then I got really tired and I didn't feel like pouring it. So I let it sit out overnight. And I was not sure how it was going to turn out. I mean, there was a chance it would just completely be globular and blobbed up and just a mess. But it was actually quite the opposite. I thought it turned out really pretty. And um, I, I, I did video it. There's a video. Um, I haven't named it yet, so I don't know what the name of it will be. But um, it probably will say something about experiment because... Um, I consider it sort of an experiment. Um, I thought that it might, you know, be a complete waste. Um, but um, I thought it turned out really pretty, and it was another one I'm doing for a friend. That's what I do when I don't have any commissions and I don't and I can't go to the farmers market. I just make a bunch of crap for people I know, so <laughs> they get inundated with you know, unasked for artwork whenever I get bored. <laughs> and, um, so far I haven't had any complaints. They seem okay about it, but, I mean, like, I make tons of stuff for my mom. My mom and I are very close, and I make her things all the time. She won't even hang them up because she's so lazy. She just, like, stacks them in her house. And, um, I've tried to motivate her you know she doesn't have any pictures up you know because she just doesn't want to fool with it I guess and I have tried to motivate her and you know to the point that I just took them off that she wouldn't even take them for a long time I'd give them to her here at my house and she'd just leave them here and she, it's not that she didn't like them she'd like them she just never would want to put in the effort to hang them up and stuff so, I finally just loaded them all up and took them over there and said, by God, you're going to, you're going to freaking do this. And, uh, I still haven't gotten it none. I'm still, uh, still struggling with it. Um, I, I, every time I go over there, I try to get her to let me do something, you know, hang something. Um, and she won't ever do it. And... You know, it, it's very frustrating. Um, I don't understand. Um, because I tell her, you know, you'd be so much happier with your house. You know, if you had some art in it. I mean, every house needs art. It's just like, you know, um, it makes such a big difference. And um, I cannot motivate her. Um, and I seriously considered... One day when she's out, just going over there and hanging a bunch of shit up. And then 
she'll either have to live with it or she'll have to take it down, you know. And she won't take it down because she'll be too lazy. So, um, that's one idea I have. Um, but you hate to have to do that because people should choose where they want things to go and how they want it to look and stuff. But I'm about to that point. I'm very irritated with her. Um, anyway, all of these colors, the person told me, let's see, what did they tell me? Blue, purple, red, black, and green. And I have basically done that. Of course, I choose the shades, um, you know, which blues and purples and whatever. Um, and then I added the gold just because uh, I think everything looks better with gold. I just love gold. And so I added that. Um, and um, I think it's going to be pretty. Uh, so this is Prussian blue. Uh, Liquitex, um, which I love. It's my favorite blue, pretty much. I like Aquamarine and Thalo as well, but Prussian just, it's just so beautiful. I don't know. I, it just stands out to me as just one of the most beautiful colors. And I told you about the green. Um, my other favorite green, like I said, is that Deco Art um, Emerald. It's very pretty. It's a little lighter, a little uh, shinier, you know, a little brisker or whatever. Um, and with this one, I had deeper colors and I wanted it. I used the turquoise to and the gold to brighten it some because it would have been really dark if I had just gone with the Prussian blue, black, that deep red, purple, that's dioxazine purple. Um, that is Master's Touch primary red, which is my favorite red. Um, if you want a true red, you know, um, that's what it gives you. Mm, there's one of those places it doesn't want to cover. I'll just, um, I'll just tilt over it. I'm not going to re-swap it. Some of these canvases lately have been doing that. They have patches that just don't want paint to adhere to them for some reason. There's another one up there. Um, I don't know why that is. I'll just, I left a little patch right there too. And I'm not gonna, that I am gonna fix though. Okay. That's the only way I know to fix those. When you have a space that doesn't swipe, um, I go all the way back up to the top and swipe it. If you try to start here in the middle, it'll disrupt the flow of things. At least that's what I think. I don't like the way it looks. This is my favorite swapping tool for regular swipes. It's parchment paper. Um, and uh, while it does not work well for shelly art or resin because of the thickness, it's very thin, um, it won't hold up to those. I really like the way it works on a regular swipe. It produces that really pretty, unusual veining that you see, and also really neat cells. That's what I think. Um, you can try it and, you know, try it and see what you think. Um, just like anything that I say and do on here, you know, do it yourself, try it yourself. Um, see what you think, you know, don't take my word for it. Um, I just tell you what works for me and what I like. Ooh, that's starting out kind of pretty. I like those cells, those pretty green ones. And red ones popping up in there. Gold. I think I like that. But anyway, if I had used those dark colors alone, I think it would have been just too muddy, too dark. So I wanted to add the gold and the turquoise, um, which doesn't deviate from his color scheme because it's still blue. Um, and they don't tell me, of course, what color to swipe with. I could ask them, I guess which color of those colors do you like the best and use that for a swipe. But I like to choose the swipe because that doesn't always make for the best picture, just which color is your favorite. Um, in choosing a swipe color, I like to use a color that goes with all the other colors, you know, um, really well. Um, I would not have used, for instance, well, I mean, I don't know in this one how to give you an example, but I just think some colors, um, 
will stand out as being really complimentary for all other colors, whereas some colors are just really complimentary for a few of your colors. You know, they they don't all complement all of them. You know, but you gotta find one. For me, I have to find one that seems like it complements every other color because it's gonna run through them. You know, and I want um, it to look pretty all the way through. I don't want a patch where, um, you know, the two colors clash or they just don't look too hot together. Um, this is pretty. Uh, I don't want to pour all my blue off, but I want to get that, uh, that area that's just solid plain blue kind of poured off where I have beautiful cells and colors going on all throughout. And I'm really kind of liking this. It's um, interesting. I'm going to pour some of this off, but I don't particularly care for some of this at the bottom. The gold and the turquoise, for some reason, it's not looking all that great to me. I'm going to pour it off. It's one benefit of using plenty of paint is that if you find something going on that you don't like, you can just pour it off. I like this now. I'm, I'm I'm happy with it now when I poured that. I gotta move this side. It's kind of irritating me because there. It's kind of an edge there that I didn't like. There's kind of some lumps down here. I need my tweezers in here. I have really good tweezers for this. But I don't. They're in the other room. This flow trawl is not strained yet because I don't have a strainer at the moment for it. Um, I have to go to the store and get some hose or something like that. Um, that's what I use. I put it, uh, I've said this a million times, but I'm gonna say it again in case there's somebody that hasn't heard it. When, and when it comes to strain flow trawl, yes, it's a good idea to strain it. Um, because see these little bitty lumps here? Um, we don't want these. Um, and I can't get that one. How I do it is um, the way I heard Gina DeLuca, who's very talented, um, say she does it. Um, and that is you get a pantyhose or um, I guess there's something else that's porous like that. I, I think pantyhose work best. Um, and put those over the cap of your flow trawl bucket. That way, when you pour out your flow trawl, you can pour it directly into your paint cups and it'll be strained um, already. Instead of going and, you know, getting a, a sieve or something and pouring from one bucket to another bucket and all that kind of mess. Just put the pantyhose with a rubber band around the spout of your flow trawl bucket and it will strain it as it pours out. And it works very well. And the only thing about it is, ever so often you have to change out the pantyhose. They get crusty and hard. And you have to, like, um, exchange them out, put new ones on. I love this. I think it's really awesome looking. Um, but that's the only thing, um, you know, that you have to keep up with with that. Um, yeah, you, you do need to change them out every so often because that's part of what contributed to my stinky flow trawl situation that some of y'all may have been following. Um, if it starts to coagulate around your hose and your rubber band and stuff, it'll stink. It's really nasty. And um, you can prevent that by changing your uh, hand hose uh, rubber band situation out ever so often. You can tell when it's time to do it. It'll it'll get gummy and nasty. And then it'll be smelly. That was my son. 
He's making a video too. Or something. I always like to give everything a really good torch. I believe in silicone and I believe in torching. You know, uh, a lot. It doesn't hurt anything. It only helps. And I say go for it. I'm really liking that. Uh, I think it looks really cool. Um, let me let y'all... I'm going to do several paintings today because I want to have this guy come. And I want to do this one and then I'm going to do a flip cut with those colors. And then, um, and you know, it produces totally different results. You know, this kind of a swipe versus a flip cut is going to be totally different. See that veining that you get running all the way throughout the piece. That purple and red runs all the way throughout the piece. And those neat little cells... In between, I always get lots of cells and lots of that spectacular veining. I think it's just beautiful. Um, there's not much of the turquoise in this for some reason. There it is. There's some. There's some up there. Okay. Not much in the rest of it, but it's okay. Um, there's some down at the bottom. I like the colors. I think it turned out really pretty. Um, like, that's subscribe, beautiful. hit the bell. The boy says like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Say it again. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thank you. Also, subscribe to my channel, Colton Will. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, Colton has a gaming channel for any of y'all that happen to be artists and gamers. I don't know. It could happen. Um, there's That is not wanting to adhere up there. I'm having to dab some paint on it. Um, but I'm used to doing that because I don't use a base coat, and sometimes I have to dab paint in different areas because of that. Um, that's the only side effect I have, uh, from not using a base coat is that every now and then, uh, there'll be little patches and I have to fill them in, but it's, it's just as simple as you just saw. You just get a little bit on your finger and dab it on there and then you're fixed. And there's never more than just a couple of them usually. So it's not a big problem. And the cost to waste ratio, I think bears out that I save money by not using a base coat, um, you know, there is this argument about paint flowing freely and how you need the base coat for it to flow. Well, I mean, I don't mean to be a smart ass, but my paint flows pretty good with that one. I mean, I'm not having a lot of problem with paint sticking or hanging up or not wanting to move. You know, I mean, by the time you put paint on there for a flip cup or any kind of pour, you got plenty of paint on there, you know, and its momentum is going to be created by its own weight. You don't necessarily have to have... A whole bunch of other paint up there waiting on it. I just don't see the point. It's wasteful. And um, so that's my soapbox about it. Y'all do what you want to do. Um, but, you know, um, if you're curious, just give it a try. You know, uh, I think you'll find that you don't have a lot of untoward effects. So, anyway, I appreciate y'all being here as always. Thank you very much. I wish I didn't have such a glare because it's so much prettier when you see it like that. There's not a glare on it. But I don't know how to fix that in here. So, Maybe I could put a shield up over that light, but then it might be dark. I don't know. Maybe I'll try that and see what it does. I don't ever use that fan in here anyway. Okay, I'll ponder that. I know y'all will be breathless with anticipation to see how I solve the glare problem. <laughs> oh, my little world. Um, it's complicated sometimes. <laughs> Thank y'all for being here. Uh, as always, I love y'all. Uh, join me next time. Uh, I'm fixing to upload both of these videos I just did, and then I'll do some more later on today um, because I've missed y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of each other, and I will see you next time.